Hi, Yulis here. Welcome to MidiGrid for macOS. In this video I'm going to walk you through the first time setup and what's the process like. It's pretty easy, so let's just jump straight into it. We have the files downloaded here, and let's begin by opening up the manual. We're going to scroll down to Setup Instructions, and we're going to follow these steps to complete the setup. So first, uh, first things first, you have to make sure you have Midifier utility installed. So go to DJ Textiles website and here you can download the OS X version. After you have done that, you can open up Midifier utility and I'm going to plug in my Midifier twister. In a second it's going to show up. And I'm going to import settings and go to my download folder select Twister Profile, hit Open, and make sure you click Send to MIDI Fighter. The lights in the controller are going to flicker, and when it's completed, you can just close this window. Now, next step is to go to DaVinci Resolve 16, and I'm going to Keyboard Customizations, Import Preset, and again, in this folder, we are going to see another folder called Resolve Keyboard Preset. I'm going to select that file, and it's going to automatically show up here. Hit close, and we're done. Next step is to make sure we have full screen window and show icons and labels selected. So what that means, we go to Workspace and enable full screen window. And down bottom here, we're going to right click and enable show icons and labels. Okay, now we're done with that. We can next install MIDI Grid. So let's double click the executable file. We can click and drag this file into applications folder. We can double click here to open the applications folder. And now I'm going to drag this into my dock for easier access. I already had it there, so nothing happened, but it's good to have there. Now we can eject that executable file we don't need that anymore. And now next step is to go to System Preferences, go to Security and Privacy, go to Privacy tab, and scroll down to Accessibility. Here we're going to find MIDI Grid and open the lock. When you have that opened, we can enable it. And we're done with this step. We can close the window and let's open MIDI Grid. So what it's going to do, it's going to recognize your screen resolution automatically. And what that means is, let's say I, I'd had the default resolution enabled on this MacBook Pro 15 inch. And in that case, it's going to actually show an error message. Your screen resolution is not supported. So what we have to keep our eye on is the looks like resolution shown up here when we mouse, mouse over these small icons. And here we can see there's an option called looks like 1920 to 1200. We'll click that and we'll see this ready to roll shows up. There's also, of course, different options, and all of the options available are listed in this drop down menu. There's also mentioned single screen and dual screen in each of these resolutions, and what that means is there's this dual screen option in Resolve. If you have this enabled, it's dual screen. If not, it's single screen. Okay, so now that we have this opened and it shows ready to roll. We can close this window, it stays open in the background, and we can start work. With the MIDI Fighter Twister, I can now hit the side buttons to go between different menus. I can, let's say, create a power window, move that around, have the highlight. Uh, let's go to HSL qualifier. I can one of with one of the side buttons uh, clicked. I can make adjustments in ten times more speed. 
which is pretty handy. And I'm going to go to, let's say, to color adjustments and decrease the saturation. I can create new nodes, I can navigate between them, I can delete them, I can reset them. There's quite a lot of things we can do here. So to actually learn what are all of the functions available, we have to go to back to the manual. And here let's scroll down to the cheat sheet. And in this page we can see all of the settings available. You can print this out and have it by your side and learn that way. So that was MidiGrade for macOS first time setup. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.